Well, Merry Christmas, everyone, once again, from Wesley Biblical Seminary. Today, we're going to focus on joy. So let's read from Matthew's Gospel, second chapter. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. So note there that the star rose, they saw the star over Jerusalem and went to Jerusalem to find Jesus. Verse 3, when Herod the king heard this, that is heard about these magi coming to find the king of the Jews, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Of course he was troubled because he's the king. This is a possible person that could come up and challenge his power, his riches, and his control as king. And notice that all the people were troubled with him. When Jesus shows up here at Christmas, they know that it's possible that revolution is coming. And that's disconcerting. Verse 4, gathering together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired them where the Messiah was to be born. And they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for this is what has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the leaders of Judah, for out of you shall come forth a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called the Magi and determined from them the exact, uh, exact time the star appeared, star a second time appearing in our text. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search carefully for the child. And when you have found him, report to me so that I too may come and worship him. So of course, Herod is saying, all right, go look for the child in Bethlehem, but let me know so that I can worship him. But what Herod really wants to do is to kill him because he's a threat to his own power. After hearing the king, this is verse nine, they, that is the Magi, went their way. And the star, which had been seen in the east, went on before them until it came and stood at the place where the child was. And finally, verse 10, when they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. So what we have here in this story is that the Magi see a star over Jerusalem and they go to find the birth of the king. They find the, the, the newborn king. But they arrive in Jerusalem going, well, where specifically? Because the star wasn't precise enough. And they talk to these people, they talk to Herod, and when they leave Herod, they see the star again for a second time, but this time more precisely indicating where they can find the newborn Jesus. And what I find in this text that for me and I think for the Magi is the source of great joy is that God is drawing them to Jesus. God is drawing them to Jesus. And at Christmas, we normally celebrate the fact that God comes to us, and He does come. Jesus shows up, but He doesn't just show up. He shows up and He draws us to Himself. And therefore, they don't have to be lost in looking for Him. He is faithful in drawing His own to Himself. We find the same thing in the story of the shepherds in Luke's Gospel, where it says, uh, peace on earth among men, uh, for this thing will be a source of great joy, this announcement that the new king has been born. Notice that the shepherds go, or excuse me, the angels go to the shepherds and announce to them, go and find Jesus. It's not just for the shepherds to wander around uh, and look for Jesus. Oh, look, we found Jesus. No, God goes out of his way to send messengers, whether it's angels or it's a star, to say, he's come and I'm gonna show you exactly where you can find him. And that is a source of great joy. It's a source of joy to know, overwhelming happiness and fulfillment, to know that God will draw us to himself. And so this Christmas, we don't just celebrate that Christ has come and he's born, but that he draws us to himself. So I invite you with me to be drawn to Jesus this Christmas season as a source of great joy. Thank you and Merry Christmas.